like I always say, if you're not down with the bullshit and you're down with the real shit, like and subscribe. It's crazy. I'm tripping off that whole thing uh, with Chet Hanks and his, and his ex-girlfriend. Now, you know, Chet Hanks is the son of um, Tom Hanks, you know, the two-time best uh, uh, actor award uh, winner, you know, and, um, you know, won the, uh, uh, you know, uh, for the Oscars, you know, uh, the thing the, um, about it is, you know, with Chet Hanks uh, being white and everything, you know, white guys, y'all gotta understand, man. The sisters from the sisters are gonna be the hood. I mean, I mean, the sisters are gonna be <laughs> how they are, man. You know. Especially them hood raised, you know, ghetto mentality ass sisters. They not gonna change just cause you white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all can take that all the hell you want to, man. You can think like, yeah, she loved me and cause I'm the white man and uh she loves me because, you know, I'm better than the brothers and and and, and everything and um look man. They gonna still be who the fuck they are. You best believe that shit. Sisters gonna be, you know, those type of sisters, them, them ratchets, them, them 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 ghetto thought type fucking women, gonna be who the fuck they are, man. I don't give a fuck you Asian. I don't give a fuck you Latino, whatever the fuck. They'll perpetrate, you know, being a certain way to get to the bag, but uh, you know, they'll do that, you know, even with black dudes, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, they don't, you know, you are just a conduit to get to the bag or get to whatever the hell they want to benefit them or serve their, you know, self-interest, however it is. He checked, uh, um, Hanks, he's sitting up here looking crazy, man. Blood dripping from his head. He all on Instagram or whatever the fuck talking about, look at me, look what she did. Yeah, I'm a victim of domestic violence. I'm like, dude, <laughs> that shit look crazy as hell, man. I'm sorry, man. It's like, I, I thought for a, a brief moment, I said, man, your, your father should have told you about the town, man. You know, shit, Tom Hanks used to be right here in Oakland, man. I ain't shit know what time it is, but then I had to pump my brakes for a minute because I was like, you know, I remember shit, you know, Tom Hanks was like growing up here like in the 70s. So that was the last decade where people were more peaceful and it was really about love and family and, you know, um, so he probably don't have that, you know, uh, 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 understanding. You know, I think you would have to... Uh, you, you got to see all the going ons of things that were that were occurring during the eighties and on up to now, and then you would have then you would be more grounded in you know like understanding even the things that you see today. It's like <laughs> it's just funny, man, because it's like some of these white guys they get with these. Uh, black girls and they be thinking like, I don't, I don't know what the hell they be thinking. I mean, if you really thinking that it's going to be better for you because you're white and you thinking that she worships you and everything and, you know, oh, well, you know, because I'm the white man and she going she gonna to behave, she going to act right. She's not going to do me like she do, you know, them black dudes and, and everything like that because you think you better or and you think we're the lesser or she thinks that way or whatever it's like um i tell people sometimes like they had this fascination about um getting attack dogs and thinking that the attack dog you know um it's gonna be real good you know for them or good to them because of how the hell they think they are you know um it's just like you get that pit bull 
you think in your mind that because of whoever the hell or whatever the hell you think about yourself, that that pit bull is not going to instinctively, you know, uh, instinctively act based upon its nature and, you know, uh, how, uh, you know, it is as far as like, you know, the bloodline of uh, being uh, inbreded, you know, throughout, you know, the generations of that pit bull's uh, lineage, you know, which makes them motherfuckers crazy and shit. People be feeding them motherfuckers gunpowder, all kind of shit, you know, uh, to make them crazy to pass that shit on to their uh, kids and everything. You think that uh, that pit bull ain't gonna act like a pit bull because it's with you? Oh, yes, the fuck it is. You know, what's the fuck it is? And it ain't the pit bull's fault. Pit bull, pit bull is just, you know, a pit bull. It's just like fucking with wild animals. You know, you see them people all the time going out there to Africa and shit. I mean, damn. You don't see the Africans just going out there fucking with the damn wild animals and and shit and just, you know, the motherfuckers take that shit serious. You know, you see the Africans, they, they be telling motherfuckers, like, you don't play with the motherfucking lions and tigers and leopards and panthers and, and all, them, all them motherfuckers, man, and cheetahs and all that shit. You know, fuck that, man. You got to be prepared to take the motherfuckers down. The motherfuckers will kill you and shit like that. And then, um... You always see these uh, white people who want to go over there and explore these motherfuckers and go out there to the Serengeti and walk around there and they want to go out there and pet the damn rhinoceros and all kind of weird. I'm like, and then the motherfuckers wind up killing their ass or some shit and they be acting like, oh God, it's so tragic. And wait, wait a minute, what? Nah, man. They gonna still be wild animals regardless of who the fuck you are or who the fuck you think you are. You know, and, uh, shit, you know, that dude look like, really crazy. Chet Haynes look really crazy, man, with that blood leaking from his head and uh, putting that shit on, posting that shit online, and uh, shit not even show that shit, man. I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe that's for a police report or, you know, to, to help with that or some shit like that. I don't know why, why the fuck he did that shit, but... Hey, man. Then it, 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 uh, I heard it talked about like the game, the, the rapper, the game basically said that uh, uh, Chet Hanks needs to go back to Becky because he can't handle this type of aggression and anger from black women. And they say uh, a lot of black women got upset at the game for, you know, suggesting that. Well, shit, the game is being really telling the truth. The fuck does the game do? And, and a lot of guys outside of the black race, outside of the being hood raised, or out of the, you know, just like, what did um, that uh, song by Naughty by Nature, where Tress said, if you're not from the ghetto, don't come to the ghetto, because you wouldn't understand the ghetto. That's real talk. You know, because black dudes understand this. This That's the way these females act, man. It's them type of females. You don't do what the fuck they want you to do. You don't act like they want you to act. Give them what you what they want you to give them. They might attack your ass and shit like, <laughs> just like a damn wild animal. They might attack your ass like a pit bull or, or like a shark or some shit like that. I'm serious, man. It's it's like it's mess it's like messing with something that's volatile and dangerous, and that shit can happen at any damn <laughs> moment. So you you best be careful, you know. Uh, shit, a lot of black dudes just used to it, man. I mean, hell, your mama was like that. Uh, shit, you, you seen your aunts acting like that? Hell, you know, um, different females in your family, you know, uh, female cousins or whatever, and and um. What happens is some dudes they just they just grow accustomed to that shit. They just you know, so um that's why, you know, if you look at a video that I got where I was talking about hood uh, hood relationships are special, you know, shit. You gotta be built for that shit, man. You know, or be brought up in it to really like 
I mean, just to deal with it in some form or, or fashion. You gotta have some kind of understanding through experience with that shit. Like, I ain't trying to say that it's normal. I ain't trying to say that uh, that's what's right or that's what's real. I ain't, you know, ignorant like that. It's just a situation. It's just a condition, you know. And if you don't know anything about that shit, I've seen uh, white dudes get with black girls, man. They busting them upside the head with shit. And they looking all like, I, I, I just don't understand. Why did Quintisha do what she did to me? I, I, I you know, I, I give her money. I, 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 I help her out with her children. I, you know, I just uh, bought her son some, he wanted some retro Jordans for, and, uh, and they cost $250. And I went and bought them for her and for him. And, I, you know, and um, you know, and I get her nails done, and I, and I get her hair done, and you know, and uh, 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 her her daughter, uh, Loctavia, uh, she just had a baby, and she's fourteen years old, but I'm trying to be a grandfather, and and, and <laughs> like, dude, you could be a nice person, you could be a good person, you could be a generous person, you could be a humanitarian or whatever the fuck you trying to be. And I'm not saying that's bad, but shit. Life and these experiences teaches you, you better be careful who, the fuck you be, who you be like that with. That's the whole thing. You know, so ignorance is not an excuse because you're going to learn by experience or shit. You got people who have told you or you didn't see any examples of stuff. So your common sense is supposed to be your guide, you know, which is, you know, your consciousness and tell you what to do and what not to do, where to go, where not to go, who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. So, shit, man. Don't get up here crying a river, Chet Hanks, talking about, <laughs> look what she did to me. You know, shit, man. And they say, or she said, uh, she's a victim of domestic violence. Uh, saying that he he was putting hands on her and doing something to her. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he did. But, sure. You got those that's crazy like that. Like, that, that shit. They, bottom line, remember, understand the context of what's being said here. They like to fight. They like confrontation. So if you're going to be with somebody like that, man, then and trip out about her really acting upon her true nature. Who the one is really crazy? I mean, shit. That's why people would be, you know, how they used to refer to a dog sometimes as just being a dumb animal. You know, you can't blame the damn fucking dog, man. Like, it, it, you know, I think that's kind of fucked up to call a dog a dog a dumb animal. Just, just say a dumb animal because he acts on instinct. But, you know, um, shit. You got to look at what things really are worth. You know, the whole entire aspect of what things are worth and put it in the proper context before you full-fledged, like, deal with shit, you know. Shit, man. Uh, and there's other medi mitigating factors going on nowadays with the coronavirus and people being locked all up in the <laughs> you know with people and having to stay around people more than what they usually would or want to or something like that and hell man so that's just like you lock in the house with the pit bull like you can't go nowhere the pit bull pissed off and mad cause the pit bull can't go outside and shit and gotta stay in the house with you and the pit bull need a break from you from time to time so Shit, the pit bull keep on seeing you. You keep on saying things and irritating the pit bull. After a while, it's only a matter of time before the pit bull will fucking try to kill your ass. Guess, bite your juggler or some shit. I don't know. People might say, well, that's based on the relationship. Shit. The pit bull is still the pit bull. The wild animal is still a wild animal. And it doesn't matter who the hell your ass is. That's the whole point. So, shit, if you don't want the wild animal or the pit bull to attack your ass or bite your ass, you best to stay the hell away from them. So, 
the uh, the game probably is giving uh, Chet Hanks uh, 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 some great advice. <laughs> but I'm just tripping on the fact he look crazy. That blood in his eyes. Hey man, all y'all out there, man, don't do that, man. Don't you, you guys out there. Don't be telling people you're a victim of domestic violence from some woman and keep showing you. Well, shit, man. I mean, don't show the world, shit. You know, use that shit for your own personal information. You got to, you know, deal with the, the authorities and the proper authorities and stuff like that. But don't show the world that shit. That shit look crazy, man. God damn. Stand up. Be a man. Peace.